Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives, family returns home for the double wedding, which runs smoothly until an unexpected visitor shows up. When Xander arrives, the square is decked out for the nuptials. To the groom's surprise, Jack strolls up. Xander snatches the spectator from him, he says icily, adding that he's in town in case Abigail is. Jack is offered Xander's half back. He bemoans the loss of his best friend, possibly the only one he has ever had, and regrets what he done. He will get the documents drawn up by Justin. Jack is going to monitor the mail. He instructs Xander to express his affection to the newlywed. What precisely does she perceive in you? he asks. Isn't that the crucial question? Xander answers. Jack begs Xander to earn it, saying he has an excellent one. Jack brow raises Riley as Xander looks gravely at him in the square. As the bride and Bonnie are wondering who destroyed Xander's mother's wedding invitation, Maggie arrives at Sarah's apartment. Teresa looks away with guilt. Suspects are eliminated by the other women until they come upon her. Teresa acknowledges it, saying she was afraid Fiona would make a big deal. Bonnie admits with pride that she still mailed the invitation. Sarah observes that Fiona has yet to RSVP. To assist Sarah in getting ready, Maggie and Bonnie drag her outside. Teresa gasps on her own, praying Fiona doesn't arrive. Alex says in the Kiriaki's mansion that Justin is no longer his father. He needs to accept that now. He retracts. Though his outburst was unintentional, Justin needs to move over his resentment against Victor. The fact that the man Justin thought of as a second father set them against one another, from his grave, no less, is something Justin can never get over. Alex responds that he shouldn't perform the wedding if he now views him as the enemy. As Sonny walks in, Justin responds angrily. Alex gives Sonny a hug before leaving so Justin may catch up with his real son. Sonny queries his dad about his well-being. Justin insists he's not, stifling his tears. Though he would never forgive him for this, Justin still misses Victor. Nor will Sonny. Justin takes out the letter Victor received from Angelica. Holding it around, he reads it again in the hopes of discovering one thing that will reveal to him that it's all a mistake. Sonny gives Justin an embrace and tells him he will always be his son. Alex comes back to express regret for his previous remarks. He would be appreciative if Justin married Teresa and him. Justin would have the honor. Roman apologizes to Kimberly over the phone for her and Shane's inability to attend the wedding. Uncle is surprised when Andrew walks into the pub jokingly, Andrew says he's the family representative. Roman is certain Teresa will be ecstatic. In a flashback, Andrew confronts Teresa about assisting Constantine in capturing Victoria. Teresa is unaware that he is coming, he informs Roman. A beaming Stephanie enters, eager to meet her cousin. Her parents are unable to attend the wedding, she explains. Roman continues, Kate is too preoccupied with acquiring the rights to a soap opera. He moves aside to give the cousins time to catch up. Text says get the Days of Our Lives newsletter from Soaps. Receive daily summaries, exclusive interviews, spoilers, and breaking news alerts directly to your email. Brady pours a tumbler of vodka at the townhouse. As he arrives, a tuxedo-clad Paul asks, Whatcha up to there, bro? Brady was unaware that he was approaching. Paul mentions that the sister of his boyfriend is getting married. Paul asks whether he is off the wagon while glancing at the bottle. Brady acknowledges that he had considered it. Brady takes away the drink after they discuss Teresa. It was only a fleeting moment. Brady gives Paul a hug before he can take the glass and pour it out. An outfit in tuxedos Paul walks into the townhouse, his face uncertain. Teresa answers Andrew's apartment door after changing into a form-fitting strapless dress with floppy bows at the shoulders. Her brother gives her a happy hug and gestures quizzically at something. Teresa claims that while Sarah gets ready, she is observing Victoria. Oh, the child you abducted? Andrew, who insists he hasn't told anyone, not even Paul, is hushed by her. 
Sarah did, however, phone and inquire about any leads regarding Constantine's accomplice. Sarah appears wearing a tight halter-style dress. Sarah is informed by Andrew that the accomplice's trail has dried up. They believe it was a local goon who, with Constantine dead, would have no desire to bother her. Teresa asks her brother to lead her down the aisle as she stops pacing. Maggie expresses her pride in the two brides. Days Teresa and Alex's wedding in the Horton Square is being officiated by Justin. In the square, visitors assemble, and Alex and Xander are positioned in front of Chair Rose. Behind them, columns and shrubbery loom. Xander has on a formal jacket and kilt, while Alex is dressed in a traditional tuxedo with a long tie. Before Andrew leads Teresa down the aisle, they exchange jabs. Sarah and Maggie come next. First, Justin is in charge of Alex and Teresa's wedding. Teresa tells Alex how much she wants to make him happy, stealing looks at a glum Brady. They exchange rings after exchanging vows. They are pronounced husband and wife by Justin. Brady turns to go. Brady assures his brother he's going to a meeting, but Paul stops him. Maggie and Justin switch places with Xander and Sarah, and Alex and Teresa. Maggie is aware that Victor would be overjoyed that his family was able to spend this evening together. Please speak up now or keep quiet for eternity if you know of any reason why Xander and Sarah shouldn't be married. There's a slim, gray-haired woman wearing a plunging dress with a skirt full of fringe. I apologize for being late, she remarks jokingly. Everyone looks at her. Mom? Xander says, gazing wide. Teresa sits with Alex and stares tensely, her chest quivering. A distraught Teresa grabs her street clothing while still wearing her bridal dress. Justin feels happy that Victor never lied to him and that Alex is still his son as they are at the square with Bonnie. Alex rushes to the park in the interim. Stephanie trail behind to check on him. She gives him a hug when he swears he's not. Xander pours himself a drink as he enters the Kiriaki's estate with a march. Slamming it, he pours another. He glares at Victor's picture before taking a sip of that one. To the father, to you. It appears like you saved the finest joke for last. With a gulp, he tosses the glass. It collides with the picture. Brady is encountered by Fiona at the pub. Who's sitting here? She queries. Brady holds out Ava's unfinished drink to her. How gallant, she smirks as she sits. Brady is encountered by Fiona at the pub. Who's sitting here? She queries. Brady holds out Ava's unfinished drink to her. How gallant, she smirks as she sits. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.